Hello student, my name is Ridesh and you are watching my channel, Your Classroom at Home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in today's lecture, I am going to discuss a good question related to arithmetic progression. Question says, if A1, A2, A3, dollar dot, AN are in AP. If A1, A2, A3, dollar dot, to AN are in AP. R in AP. Then show that, show that, 1 upon root a1 plus root a2 1 upon root a1 plus root a2 plus 1 upon root a2 plus root a3 plus dot dot 1 upon root a n minus 1 plus root a n will equals to n minus 1 upon root a 1 plus root a n root a 1 plus root a n now taking LHS of this equation 1 upon root a 1 plus root a2 plus 1 upon root a2 plus root a3 plus dot dot, dot 1 upon root a n minus 1 plus root a n. This is LHS. Now rationalize the derivative of the first term of LHS. 1 upon root a1 plus root a2 can be rationalized as multiply numerator and denominator by root a1 minus root a2 root a1 minus root a2 this will be root a1 minus root a2 upon a plus b a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So, this will be a1 minus a2. Now, similarly, we can rationalize these other terms. So, by rationalizing the derivative of the each term of the LHS, the LHS can be further written as root a1 minus root a2 upon a1 minus a2. Plus, this can be written as root a2 minus root a3 upon a2 minus a3 plus dot dot, dot this term can be written as root a n minus 1 minus root a n upon a n minus 1 minus a n a n minus 1 minus a n. Since a1, a2, a3, dot dot, dot a n are in a p. So, a2 minus a1 is equals to common difference t. Or we can say a1 minus a2 will equals to minus t. So, a1 minus a2 can be replaced by minus t. Here, a2 minus a3 further be replaced by minus t. So, LHS can be further written as further implies that this can be written as under root a1 minus under root a2 upon minus d plus this can be written as under root a2 minus under root a3 upon minus d since a3 minus a2 is minus d plus dot dot, dot this can be written as under root a n minus 1 minus under root a n upon minus d. Now taking minus d 
common here. Further implies that minus 1 upon d. The remaining terms can be written as under root a1 minus under root a2 plus under root a2 minus under root a3 plus dollar dot plus under root a n minus 1 minus under root a n. Here minus root a2 this will be plus root a2 minus root a3 can be cancelled out by the next term and this term will cancel out by the previous term. So student there will be remaining only two terms. Now further implies that minus 1 upon d under root a1 minus under root an. Our requirement is to get the denominator as under root a1 plus under root an. So by rationalizing the numerator we get the same denominator. Now multiply numerator and denominator by under root a1 plus under root an. a minus b a plus b will be a square minus b square. So this term can be written as further implies that 1 upon minus d this will be a1 minus a n upon under root a1 plus under root a n. We know that error term of the AP is a1 plus n minus 1 into d. So change a n in terms of a1. Further implies that 1 upon minus d a1 an can be written as a1 plus n minus 1 into d upon under root a1 plus under root an. Now open this bracket with minus sign. 1 upon minus d. This will be a1 this will minus a1 minus plus minus minus n minus 1 into d upon under root a1 plus under root a n plus a1 minus a1 will cancel out minus minus plus d and d is further cancel out so our final result is n minus 1 upon under root a1 plus under root an n minus 1 upon under root a1 plus under root an this is our current so student in today's lecture i have solved a good question related to arithmetic progression so keep watching my videos and keep practicing thank you take care